Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. We need to get down to the surface of Tachonka, find the Shroud, and cure the Genophage. Again, Commander, thank you for ensuring my son died with honor. It's all a Turian father can hope for. But this is war. The time for mourning is later. Is there something you need? Well, I don't think this is new, is it? That's all. Of course, Commander. It's been a week since I played, but I'm pretty sure this is all old news. The Turians pull another move like that, Shepard, and this alliance is off. But just bear with me, Rex. This is hard for all of us. I've got Reapers on my planet, a bomb that almost blew up my planet, and if those two fail, the Genophage to make sure we all go extinct anyway. I don't want to hear about who has it hard. Understood. Good. Now is there something you need? I'm pretty sure we've done this as well. What will you do after the Genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. I won't let them. Just trying to remember how we ended the last video. I remember we saved the Turian from the bomb, didn't we? I heard what Victor's did. He was a brave man. I don't think I could... Uh, there I go again. I was going to say that I could never do that. But? But I was wrong. Being here, watching you, you've shown me what it means to serve in the Alliance. You're a good officer, trainer. Glad you finally realize it. Thanks. Not that I'm volunteering for bomb jump duty. I'd suggest sending someone who has armor first, if possible. Don't think armor would have saved him, to be honest. Pretty sure he had armor. Pretty sure more armor wouldn't have made a lot of difference. Full stop. Hostiles detected at the landing coordinates. Joker, what have you got? Sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud facility. No way you're going to be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the Shroud. Aye, aye, sir. New form of Reaper, Shepard. Using Shroud to poison Tuchanka's atmosphere. Problematic. They want to fight! They just got one. Primark, we're gonna need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is what we've already agreed, you dickhead. I just saved your son. Plus, this is the deal we already had. If he doesn't do it, I will gun him down on this ship. You said you'd help. It's time to deliver. What is it you need? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Rex, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Yes, distraction. Small team can reach Shroud facility, finish synthesizing cure. We'll need Eve to come with us. Then it's now or never. Now. The Genophage ends today. Commander, incoming message marked urgent. I'll put it in the comm room for you. Well, that's pretty suspicious. Dalatrus? Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Tuchanka. And by now, I imagine Morden Solus has proposed using the Shroud. Are you spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow your misguided sympathy for the Krogan to cloud your judgment. Do you honestly believe curing the Genophage will end in lasting peace? Cut the... cut the cord, like we used to do on the Council. Uh, well, there's going to be no peace for you, Dalatress, because after we've killed the Reapers, we're going to come and disembowel you. Krogan aren't peaceful. Hurry. Okay, the Krogan are one problem for her. But no, I'm not going to take this shit from the Salarians. No, but that's not my problem. No, I don't. The Krogan are too violent, but I don't have a choice here. Then allow me to offer you one. 
Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you were planning couldn't be done. Morden will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. You mean trick the Krogan? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Rex believe you fulfilled your promise. Morden would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible, and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. Too duplicitous, we're not going along with it. They'll betray us. Nah, I don't trust the Solarians at all. Probably set Yarg on us or something worse. Oh, that's funny. I was expecting Eve and Morden. Whenever I actually want this, it doesn't work anyway. None of those sound all that good, to be honest. But that doubles its damage. We'll take that. Mind you... Oh, organics. That's all you can ever hit with it anyway. Plans to assemble at the Hollows. It's our sacred meeting ground. We'll land there and take an armored convoy against the Reaper. This will be the defining moment of Krogan history. Krogan history filled with defining moments, most bloody. Hope this one better. Commander, you seem troubled. We're not. We're not sabotaging the Shroud. I'm just going to keep it stum. There's just a lot on the line. I want this to go well. Have faith. <clears throat> no matter the adversity we face, some moments are destined to happen. This is one of them. Rex, it's Reeve. The Reapers are already at the hollows. Come out with guns blazing. Hang on tight. We're heading in. away from the female. I'll sort out what's happening with the other clan. Everyone pick your targets and keep an eye on our six. Now move. I don't think the train is slow. Here they come. Go let them get up here. Now here. Other than betraying and helping Morden come up with a solution, I don't see how else telling him can help me. More incoming! songs about this someday. Reaper blood has finally soaked our soil. We have to get to the Shroud. The air strike is on its way. Female safe, Shepard. Recommend haste, however. Vital signs troubling. What's a Solarian doing here? Nobody said anything about this. Multiple Krogan. Problematic. We can mow down all these Krogan if we need to. There's no time for this. 
Whatever grudge you have against Salarians ends right now. As long as it involves a bullet in his head, time for some payback. Stand down, Reeve. The Salarian is with me. Enough! You can stay here and let old wounds fester as Krogan have always done. Or you can fight the enemy you were born to destroy and win a new future for our children. I choose to fight. Who will join me? I will. And so will I. Now hold your heads high like true Krogan. There's a Reaper that needs killing! <laughs> placate them somehow. I'll demand the Council return some of our old territory. We'll need room to expand. Recapture the glory of the Ancients. Glory of Ancients led to Krogan rebellions, countless deaths, creation of genophage, expansion plan problematic. What were the ancient Krogan like? Tachanka wasn't always a wasteland. In the old times, the Krogan were a proud people. We had dreams, a future to look forward to. Until Salarian interference? No, we destroyed Tachunka ourselves. Technology changed us. It made life too easy. So we looked for new challenges and found them in each other. Nuclear war was inevitable. And now our planet is rubble. We'll need a better place to live. Well, I do agree with that. Tachunka is fucking trash. But you're not going to ruin anything else. Mind you, the galaxy might be pretty empty for a while. I think for now Rex just needs to keep his mouth shut. Any hint of the Krogan trying to expand again could raise alarms. My children aren't going to suffocate in this cesspool. I want them to witness a new age. A Krogan Empire. Rex. I'm not saying we won't ask first, but the Council can't expect us to stay here forever. There's that look in your eye again, Commander. What's troubling you? Telling them about the Solarian plan is just going to get Mordin punched in the face. It's just going to create as extra problems. We'll just keep quiet about it. Why? I mean, I'm not doing it to defend the Solarian. I'd, you know, I'm quite happy with them to go and kill it, kill the Salatris, Dalatris. But for now, I just want an easy life just thinking about Earth. Your courage for my people will be remembered. <coughs> you won't be alone in your fight. Why are we stopping? Stay with Eve. It's looking ugly out here. Will do. Always looks ugly. It's fucking Tachanka. Every time Rex opens his mouth, I and mean, every time he meets with a Krogan, he just makes sabotaging the thing look like a better and better idea. Well, good job we did a bit of exploring, eh? Shepard, we can't sit around like this. 
It's dangerous stopping like this. Look at that Reaper. It's the end of the world out there. And remember to bring it back to your gun. I've never seen this guy. Make sure he's always in the fight of war without a road. What's the holdup? Road's out. The convoy can't make it through. Turian Wing Artemek, this is Shepard. We've been delayed. Hold off your attack. Negative, Commander. Our approach is locked. The Reaper already knows we're here. An airstrike alone won't do it. We have to get in that fight. Hey, it's not a Turian's fault. I don't it's care if we have to build a new road. We're going. Shepard! I've lost control. I can't pull up. funny that the Solarians managed to get in and sabotage the Shroud, and the Turians managed to get in and plant a bomb, and the Krogans were completely unaware of both those things. Why are they so rubbish? Rex, are you receiving this? Is everyone okay? Yeah, just scratches. Nothing the Solarian can't patch up. Reeves' truck made it out too. The Turians had to call off the airstrike. Oh, we'll need a new plan for dealing with the Reaper. First, we'll have to find you. Where did you end up? Underground. We see ruins of some kind. Commander, that's the city of the ancients. How do we get out? No maps exist. It's been abandoned for thousands of years. You're a trailblazer, Shepard. Get through there and we'll find a place to meet up. Nothing will stop this cure. If the Krogans could take better care of themselves, they wouldn't have all these problems. Yeah, it is a bit of a maze. It's not just a straight line. There's actual forks in it. There it is again. That didn't feel like a tremor to me. Rex, are you guys feeling these tremors? Not up here. It could be something else, Commander. It is said that Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws, lives in this region. Which is another reason to get your ass out of there, Shepard. Step on it. Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws, does not sound encouraging. When the Krogan name a Thresher Maw, you know you're in trouble. They don't think anyone's ever going to kill it. Wild Guess says that's Kalros. Likely not to scale, either. Perhaps we should leave this area. Pretty sure we've killed multiple Thresher Maws with small arms. I'm not that worried. I think I did miss. Oh, what's that? No comment. Looks like they're hunting something on Varen. Beginning. Shall I go find it? I might cut the video, I think. Well, I can't get back, and the save is right here. So, never mind. Daylight detected ahead. But now, this is new. Part of Chachanka that isn't rubble. One wonders what the Krogan might have become if they'd avoided nuclear war. Probably wouldn't have been that much better. They'd have probably only found some other way to destroy themselves. 
Rex, we made it back outside. Well, if you can see sunlight, that's progress. And the color green. Plant life was assumed dead in this ecosystem. You're looking at hope. All that's left of it on Tachanka. This is once a world full of beauty. Given a chance, it can be again. Shepard, that Reaper is still up to no good at the Shroud. Find a way out of there and we'll pick you up. We're on it. How we actually deal with the Reaper will be another matter. This is quite nice. I it? never knew the Krogan had this in them. Maybe Eve has a point. Curing the genophage might I see them! But what if she's wrong? What are you yelling about? Right. What? Oh, I was in the middle of something. Oh, here we are. So nowhere near him. Man, I don't have any ammo, obviously. Well, Chill's going well for our first fight. There's a ravager somewhere. We've got one of the big ones! Oh, hide, 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 hide. Go somewhere, anywhere. shooting gallery.
the hell is that? Statue? Krogan makes statues? Chasing us, it. Go on ahead, Shepard. We'll try to shake this thing and find you. Push them all getting closer. Tell me something I don't know. Metal in truck, an excellent iron supplement for Ma's diet. And the thing is, I bet Rex is enjoying this. What a wasteland. I see Rex's point about needing a new home. No, Garrus, don't say that out loud. That is not happening. The rest of the galaxy is for human beings. There is not space for Krogan expansion. Now where do you suppose we are? It appears to be a memorial for fallen Krogan. Hostiles ahead. I'm on it. Do a forward roll. Actually, I'm lost. We're going that way. I think that's where I came from. Shepard, we've almost lost Calross. Get down from there, and we'll find you. I hope that's not an indoctrinated thresher more. If they don't exist, the Reaper should totally do that.
Not bothered about that at all. We no longer possess the firepower to defeat a Reaper. I know we've beaten the odds before. But getting to that tower, I don't know. We're curing the genophage no matter what it takes. Everything my people will ever be depends on it. Then I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It was hers, actually. Kalros. We summon her to the Reaper. Would that even work? Already discussed strategy. Just need to distract Reaper. Draw it from tower while cure synthesized. Released. This is a great plan. Unless it's indoctrinated by the Reapers, in which case we're just doubly killing ourselves. But yeah, this is actually an excellent plan. What makes you so sure she'll come? Legends say <laughs> she is the mother from which all other Thresher Maws spawn. This is as much her home as ours. If Tuchanka has a temper, Kalros is it. Nobody's ever faced her and survived. I don't see what could possibly go wrong. Thank you for watching, everybody. Come back next episode, where we will kill a Reaper with a Thresher Maw. Thresher Maws are subterranean carnivores that spend their entire lives eating or searching for something to eat. Threshers reproduce via spores that can lie dormant for millennia, yet are robust enough to survive prolonged periods in deep space and atmospheric re-entry. As a result, Thresher spores appear on many worlds, spread by previous generations of space travelers. The body of a Thresher never entirely leaves the ground. Only the head and tentacles erupt from the earth to attack. In addition to physical attacks, threshers have the ability to project toxic chemicals and emit bursts of infrasound as a shockwave weapon. The Alliance first encountered threshers on the colony of Akuz in 2177. After contact was lost with the Pioneer team, Marine units were deployed to investigate. The shore parties were set upon by hungry threshers and nearly the entire assault force was killed. Alliance forces recommend engaging Threshers with vehicle-mounted heavy weapons. Even with all of the Reaper's power, harvesting every sapient species in an entire galaxy can take decades or even centuries. The most time-consuming part of the process is gathering DNA from the population. To accelerate the effort, the Reapers follow a consistent procedure. Victims who cooperate, surrender, or are captured by husks are sorted into camps. It is believed that the husks possess receptors that allow them to analyse a victim's DNA through sight, smell, or touch. Victims that meet their standards are herded from the camps into processor ships. Those the husks deem insufficient to either turn into husks themselves or indoctrinated to serve as slave labour. The Reapers use this last option to give their victims false hope. Many captives who would otherwise fight back become docile when they see members of their own kind obey and survive. The processor ships reduce victims to a transportable liquid. Like in a slaughterhouse, the ship's design prevents victims from seeing or hearing what happens elsewhere so that they do not panic. The victims are ushered into locking pods, then rent apart and dissolved into paste that is flushed to storage vats. The rate of killing is phenomenal. Intelligence estimates suggest that there are more than 400 processor ships on Earth, killing approximately 1.86 million humans per day. In combination with battlefield deaths, disease and famine, this pace will result in complete depopulation of the Earth within a decade. As the husks and indoctrinated slaves build more slaughtering facilities, the kill rates can only increase. Although clearly technologically superior to the Citadel forces, the Reapers have experienced casualties in battles across the galaxy. This indicates that, theoretically, with the right intelligence, weapons and strategy, the Reapers could be defeated. Unlike the Mass Effect relays that they created, Reapers do not have quantum shields. Locking itself down at a quantum level would leave a Reaper unaware of its surroundings until the shielding deactivated. Instead, Reapers rely on kinetic barriers. 
In the case of a Reaper capital ship, these kinetic barriers can hold off the firepower of two dreadnoughts simultaneously, but three clearly causes strain, and four typically results in destruction of the Reaper capital ship. Weapons designed to maximise heat damage, such as the Thanic series, show better results against the Reapers than pure kinetic impacts. The barriers of a Reaper destroyer are less formidable than those of a capital ship. It is possible for a single cruiser or many fighters to disable or demolish a destroyer if they can get within range before they are themselves destroyed. The Reaper's energy sources are not infinite. For example, to land on a planet, a Reaper must substantially reduce its mass. This transfer of power to its mass effect generators leaves the Reaper's kinetic barriers at only partial strength. Sovereign was destroyed while assuming direct control over Saren. The feedback from Saren's death seemed to entirely overload Sovereign's shields. Current Reapers do not seem to suffer from this design flaw. Reaper capital ships can turn faster than Citadel Dreadnoughts, but to do so, they must lower their mass to a level unacceptable in combat situations. Consequently, it is possible for a Dreadnought to emerge from FTL travel behind a capital ship, then bring its guns to bear faster than the Reaper can return fire. This is a poor tactic, however, against Reapers flying in proper formation, 